Hey, what's up, y'all? This your big homie, Big Mike, checking in. Hey, yo, what's good, y'all? This your big homie, Big Mike, checking in. Real Talk hey, TV. Hey, yo, what's up, family? This your man, your big homie, Big Mike, checking in. Real Talk big TV. Homie, big Mike, checking in. Real Talk TV. Hey, peace. What's up, you guys? This is your big homie, Big Mike, checking in. Real Talk TV, man. Hope you guys are doing well. Thanks for tuning into the video. I appreciate it. If this is your first time checking out my channel, uh, first off, welcome. I hope you feel inclined to hit that subscribe button. If you know what I'm saying, if you're rocking with the channel, right there at the bottom right corner. Don't forget to hit that bell icon, hit that like button, show your support, and hit me up in the comments, man. Share me you guys' thoughts in the video. And to my new subs and lost subs, thank you guys for your support, man. I appreciate it. All right? So in this video, man, I'm going to have a heart-to-heart -heart with you guys, just sharing with y'all what just came to me a little while ago, and that's this, man. You know, as I grow older and I go through life and I begin to realize certain things, and you grow older and people around your age group start passing away, and you come to realize at a certain point that Nothing much in this life really matters, man, except living righteous. The stuff that we gain and procure throughout life, our degrees, not to say that the stuff ain't important, I'm not saying that, but what I'm saying at the end of your life, what does it really matter? Throughout life, yeah, those things matter, but at the end, when it's all said and done, None of that stuff can help you live any longer. None of that stuff can buy you any spare time on this earth. None of that stuff can buy your way into heaven. If you believe in God and if you believe in that. I do. Right? And that's something I just come to realize, man. Like, my only goal is to live righteous. Everything else I gain in addition to that, whatever blessings God decided to give me, that's what I, uh, you know, I gladly accept it and I appreciate it. But... At the end of your life, what's going to matter the most is your connection, your relationship with the Most High. Do you know Him and does He know you? That's what's going to matter. And I feel like a lot of people, man, in this world, man, they put so much value on stuff, money, attention, clout. None of that's going to matter when it's your time to go, man. None of it. Can't take any of that with you. What's going to matter at the end of the day is who did you help with what you had? How did you become a blessing to somebody else the way God blessed you? That's what's going to matter. You know, and at this stage of my life, man, that's the only thing that's really important to me. Now, am I all the way there? No. Do I have some things that I can learn? Way, you know, areas that I can improve in? Absolutely, we all can. But it just hit me, man, like, all this stuff is vanity. All this stuff is vanity. The money that we got in our bank account, our clothes, our car, our home, all we're doing is renting this stuff. We don't own anything. We may think we do, we don't own this stuff. We don't own anything, man. When you, when you die and pass on, everything that you procure throughout your life is going to be passed down to somebody else. You, know, you no longer have control over it. You ever think about that? When your life is coming to an end, what's going to be on your mind the most? Is it going to be your stuff? I highly doubt it. Is it going to be your money? I seriously doubt it. At that point, in my heart, I like to believe that I would like to know that I'm at peace with God. Because at the end of the day, that's all that really matters. Can't take none of this with you, man. And 
I say this stuff, man, because we live in a world that's constantly pushing success, money, wealth, cars, and material possessions down your throat. We're looking at people on social media and comparing our lives to theirs and hoping and wishing that we have what they have. A lot of these people, man, that got this stuff ain't even happy. They don't have peace. A lot of these celebrities, man, with all these hundreds of millions and billions of dollars, they're not happy. They're not at peace. You know why? Because none of that stuff can fill the void of God not being in your life. And that's what I come to realize, man. None of this stuff matters. There was a point in my life where I used to put so much energy towards all of that stuff and as I got older, I'm just realizing, man, you know what? It don't matter. Because when you go and you leave the side of life, man, you can't take none of that stuff with you anyway. Now, I'm not saying not have goals. Of course, we got goals, we got dreams, we got visions, things we want to accomplish while we're here. Absolutely. But that should not take precedence over your relationship with the Most High. And that's what I learned in my life. So I want to just share that with you guys. You know, and yeah, that's that's pretty much it, man. You know, as I said, man, you know, I just had that epiphany. I just, I just kind of feel like, man, all these things I've been putting before God for so long, like why? Only, only thing that's going to matter is to me anyway, is making peace with him through Jesus Christ, my savior. If you don't believe in God, if you don't believe in Christ, hey, I hope and pray that you one day do. Because guess what? You are a, an eternal soul that's gonna live forever. Your body's gonna die, but your soul's gonna live forever. Where that goes is all determined on you and if you put your faith in the savior or not. Don't put your trust in stuff or in people. Put it in the most high. Hey, that's all I got for the video. Hope you guys um, appreciated it. If you do, do me a favor, hit that like button, hit me up in the comments, let me know what you guys think, and then subscribe if you ain't subscribed already. Till next time, I'm out. Love y'all. Peace and blessings to everybody. Big homie, Big Mike, checking out, man. Peace.